Hey guys, it's Mario from WATL and today I'm going to talk to you about duels leagues and how duels work. So first off, we're going to start off with the targets. Uh, the targets, very simple, go six, five, four, three, two, one. The targets do not change from big axe, does not change from hatchet, and it will not change in duels. So you will have the same scoring system. The kill shots are available at any point throughout the match, but there are some nuances of how you can actually call the kill shot. And I'm going to go into those details. Similar to Hatchet, you're throwing from the 12 foot mark. So both players line up at the 12 foot mark. For safety reasons, you cannot have one person set up at the 12 foot mark and then another person throwing from maybe the 15 foot mark. And we always have as part of our rules that you want to generally throw from the same uh, area. A good strategy for a duels team is for both of you to go inward as opposed to go directly straight in. That will allow you to target the bullseye a lot better. One from this angle and then one from this angle. So when you do go towards the, the, the bullseye target, there is less of a chance of one axe hitting the back of the other one. That is called a Robin Hood. So that is a perfect thing to talk about right now. A Robin Hood exists when, let's say if this axe hits the bullseye, so let's say this axe hits the bullseye, they were both released roughly around the same time and the other one sticks in the back of the uh, axe handle. This is a six and this is a six. This is a perfectly valid throw. Now, do you want to get a, a Robin Hood? No. Uh, part of the reason is it will destroy your axe and it might actually cut off the handle, which we have seen before, where it becomes unusable and you have to bring in another axe in order to continue. Now, with duels, the max score is still 64. There are five throws for each player. That's a total of 10 throws. Both players, just like regular hatchet, can go for kill shot. I can go for kill shot and my imaginary partner can go for kill shot, or I can take both kill shot throws. If, let's say, let's say we both go uh, for it at the same time and I throw and I think that one might've hit, I'm gonna miss this one and just so I can show you, this one would be marked an eight, this one would be a zero. It's not necessarily that both have to hit in order to count. Now, you can also do it where one of my uh, duels partners, my imaginary one, will go for the bullseye and then I will go for the kill shot. And that is another valid strategy. So you both do not have to go up. One player can take both kill shots if I hit the kill shot, and let's say I take both and I hit the left, I then have to alternate exactly the same rules as hatchet. So remember, when you hit one kill shot in hatchet, treat it as closed. You cannot go for the same one again, otherwise you get a zero. So you have to switch sides. Same thing holds true for duels. So if one person is taking both kill shots and they hit the one, they have to alternate and aim for the other. Similar to hatchet and big axe, there are four matches you play each week. In order to have an official duels league, you must have at minimum two different teams. So that means there must be a team A and a team B. You cannot just have a team A and continue to throw your matches and that be an official week. There must be at least two different teams. The only slight difference with duels is you do not switch sides. So when you have five throws on the one side on your league night, you will do all of your five throws on the one lane. Even when you get into overtime throws, you do not switch sides. You stay in your respective targets. Now, with overtime throws, that means you're going for the kill shots. If we hit both of our kill shots and our competitors only hit one of theirs, we win. If everyone misses, we will then take the measurement of the closest kill shot to determine who the winner is. So the rules are exactly the same as what you would expect with hatchet, except now we have two throwers and we've created some simpler rules to allow for that uh, to happen in a safe manner, including throwing together. Um, if, and this is an important one, the way you get a fault in duels is if one thrower releases their ax and the other thrower still holding theirs and then they release it when the other one has hit the target, both players get a zero. So one player doesn't get the fault, the whole team does. 
So you have to make sure that you time it. And that's why when you see world champions like Lucas Johnson and Hayden Brown, you will always hear them say, three, two, one, and then they will throw. So they have a rhythm of how they throw. And that is important in duels because you do want the axis to be released at the same time and ideally at the same speed. So then they're not hitting at different times and maybe hitting each other either mid air or hitting behind uh, the axis, which will then cause a drop. So that is duels. Very fun. It's probably the funnest game in axe throwing because you're partnered up with another teammate and you have to work in tandem with them. In order to sign up for duels, contact your local World Axe Throwing League affiliate, ask them and let them know that you're interested in signing up for duels for leagues and have a great time. Thanks a lot for watching everyone.